Hello world, it is me, Arwen Starsong, just coming to check up on everybody that's here and see how y'all were doing. If you want to talk to me, just click on the comments below and leave me a comment. I'm always happy to talk to all of you. I've always been curious as to who's out there, you know. As you all know, I released a song recently called I Am Immortal. And this song is my latest song. I spent forever recording it because I really wanted it to actually turn out at least like, actually not at least okay, but like, a lot better than what I posted in Dark Cloud. With A Strange Wonderland, I'm probably going to take a very long time on it because I'm going to be purchasing new equipment as soon as I possibly can, and I'm going to possibly see about getting better upgrades and better music programs. Just in case you all are wondering exactly what I mean on this album title by A Strange Wonderland, I thought I'd explain it just to clear things up. Basically, if you look it up in the English dictionary, estranged means to become separated from a husband or spouse, you know, like a divorce or a separation, or it can mean that you've been alienated from something, like you're separated from it. And with the Wonderland that I'm referring to, I'm referring to somebody's state of mind, their mental state, their place they go to to escape in their imagination, to get away from everything, their dream state, their everything. Everything to do with your mind. That's what I'm referring to as Wonderland. Kind of like how Alice in Wonderland, she, re she goes to her Wonderland whenever she feels sad or when she's bored, you know. She just goes to the deepest parts of her imagination and she's able to be extremely happy. And the entire point of A Strange Wonderland in this album is like, you know, it means to become separated from your Wonderland, to become alienated from it. And becoming alienated from your place of happiness, your comfort zone, it can cause a lot of negative changes in a person. It can make them completely different, it can depress them, it can make them angry. And my entire point of this album is to ensure people that they're fine the way they are. Of course you can go to your wonderland, of course you can be happy, and don't ever let anybody tell you otherwise. That's the entire point of this album, and I'm hoping that the music can reinforce that in all of you. Basically, what this song is about is just letting yourself be your own hero. Being a hero for yourself, being a hero for others, standing up for what you believe in. The reason why it's called I'm Immortal is because people tend to underestimate those that are quiet, those that are different, and you know, it's not cool, man. It's totally not cool. And when someone stands up for themselves, it really shows that they have heart, they have courage, and I always encourage everybody to be the person that stands up for what's right and to have courage and to have the strength to like let everybody know your beliefs and not care and be who you are, be you, and don't ever let anybody get you down. That's the number one reason why I wrote this song. I've been writing this since like the middle of the cloud production. I wrote the lyrics down and I've been thinking of a melody in my head almost the entire time during Dark Cloud. And I wanted to put this song on Dark Cloud, but you know, it just didn't seem to fit. And with a strange wonderland, I'm actually hoping to go with more of a, you know, purpley theme. Like, you know how Dark Hot was all blue and gray and gloomy? I want this one to be a lot more strange, more elegant, more, you know, oh hey, this looks like a fantasy album. But when they listen to it, it's going to be something completely surprising and different. I want all of the music to sound a lot more unique in this album than in Dark Cloud, because in Dark Cloud it was very stereotypical for a lot of the stuff that I wrote, so I'm hoping that this next album can impress everybody. Another thing that I forgot to mention, since I am currently producing this new album and I've been trying to come up with ideas and themes for what the cover can look like, if you all have any type of like artwork that you want to submit, or if you've seen any of my videos and like what I do and want to make fan art, I highly encourage it. I really want to see what people can do as far as their art goes, and if I find anything that I like that I can use for my album cover, your name is going to be on the front cover, your signature. So everybody will be seeing your artwork when the album's released. So if you have anything that you want to submit to me, go on ahead and tweet me at Arwen Star Song, or you can Tumblr me at Arwen Star Song, or you can post it on my Facebook wall, which is right over here, or send it to me on Reverb Nation and SoundCloud.
tripod and whatnot. I'm always happy to accept any type of art that any of you can send me. I don't really get much, so it's kind of sad. I really want to see more artwork and know what's out there before I even get to drawing anything myself. So if you have any ideas for what you want to see on this Strange Wonderland cover, go on and let me know. I will be so happy to look at your artwork and even feature it on some of my videos. I hope that like people will keep listening. It always inspires me that there's actually people out there that listen to my music and it makes me feel good. And I know that I'm writing this music for a purpose and that's what keeps me going. And I really wanted to thank you all personally for listening to my music, for taking the time to watch my stupid silly videos, to comment on them, to share them, and whatnot. The community's grown fairly recently, like more than it usually has, and I'm really proud of that. I don't care what number it is. I really don't. I just care that there's someone out there that actually likes and appreciates what I write, and that is the driving force that keeps me going on this channel, and I just want to say, I love you all! <laughs> Tiki. On that note, I really hope that you're doing okay. I hope you're doing well. I hope that you are keeping out of trouble, people. And I really hope that you are out there looking for other artists, other bands to listen to. If you have any recommendations, don't be afraid to leave me a comment. Like I've said before, I always respond to everybody in the comments equally. I don't care who's who. Like, no matter what you leave, I will respond. So go on ahead and talk to me. And if you haven't downloaded my new song, I Am Immortal Yet, you can download it at this link right over here. Or you can purchase it on Dark Cloud. Like, what I mean by purchase is you can choose to donate money, but you can choose free if you want. So you can choose to pay a dollar for it, or you can choose to, like, just get the song for free, you know? And it's also on my Reverb Nation, which is right here at this link. So, if you want it, if you want it, go on ahead. Share it with your family, share it with your friends. I'm sure that someone out there is going to appreciate the song. I hope someone appreciates the song anyway. <laughs> I wrote it for a reason. I wrote it so that way people can appreciate themselves. Go on ahead and press that like button, share this video, leave a comment, talk to me. I'm always happy to welcome new people into this community. So if you want to subscribe to The Sirens Keep, go on ahead and press this link right up here. And I'll be happy to welcome you to this small, quiet little community. And even though this community is small and quiet, I want us all to be friends. No being bitches, KK. Anyways, on that note, thank you all so much for watching and listening. And toodaloo!